Thank you for joining in and I'm back with another review. I haven't done a long review in a while and yeah, so we're going to jump right in. I did save a little bit of time. I know some people like to watch the, the unboxing and wrapping here and so I filmed about half of it just for time's sake and I have some swatches there and I'm going to continue to do the rest but I'm going to read some information on the box here. This is the Windsor & Newton Professional Watercolor Set. Uh, we did get it off Amazon for the holiday season when it had like the Black Friday sale. And there's 24 colors. It's your standard black tin. And what's nice about this one is that this one has the cadmium free colors. So there's the Windsor Lemon, Windsor Yellow, the Cad Free Yellow, Windsor Orange, the Cad Free Red, Alizarin Crimson, Permanent Rose, Permanent Magenta, Windsor Violet, the Andanthrum Blue, French Ultramarine, Windsor Blue, Cerulean, Windsor Green, Hooker's Green, Sap Green, Olive Green, Yellow Ochre, Ross Sienna, Burnt Sienna, Raw Umber, Burnt Umbers, quite a few browns here, Payne's Gray, and Ivory Black. Um, I personally don't use black a lot. I would actually rather the white or maybe indigo. But um, yeah, so there's no white with this one. And I have used in the past the Windsor & Newton Professional Tubes. But this is my first time using their pan set. I have one of their Cotman ones, which is the student line that I, I purchased a few years ago. And those are really nice as well if you're just starting out. But if you're looking for these, this particular set that I'm reviewing today, if you're looking for them on Amazon, I would wait for the sale because that price definitely seems to go um, up and down. And it does come with a color chart too. So there's a list of all the colors that are available in the Windsor and Newton line, which is nice too. So if you wanted to order more, you can always look at your colors there. But yeah, I am, I have some artwork coming up in a bit here after I get all this put together and then the swatches. So I'm just going to do a little speed through here. And this is the only thing that I noticed about this palette. I really enjoyed everything, but I was showing there on the tin. It was a little flappy, like the, the one side there was not holding up as well as some of my other cases. That was about the only thing that, um, that I noticed. The paints themselves are really, really nice. Like I said, I've used Windsor and Newton before, so... I knew what to expect. In case if somebody's never used Windsor Newton before, the Windsor blue is comparable to what I would say like a thalo blue. And then the same thing with the Windsor green. That's really similar to a Viridian or a thalo green. I'm looking at anything else here. That permanent rose is really pretty too. That's like a nice pinky red. But I'm going to finish up with the swatches here, do a little speed through, and then I will come back in here and we'll talk about some blending and artwork in the end.
And I did want to create um, a small piece of artwork here, so I decided to do some florals so I can use um, a wide variety of colors here. Let's see, I used the Permanent Rose, started off with that one, and then I mixed a tiny bit of the Windsor Lemon in there, and it created like a nice, like a peachy pink color, so everything flowed together. And then I used the Hooker's Green and the Olive Green. And then I did use some of the permanent magenta as well. Overall, I am really happy with these watercolors. I think Windsor & Newton is a really great brand if you're looking to get into some professional watercolors. Um, I would definitely, like I said, wait for this sale if you, you know, if you want to, if you're trying to save a little bit. And I will leave a link down below if anybody is interested. And stay tuned for more.